Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at how to use the dresser mode for the cloth tag. So here you can see that we have a model ready. Um, we're going to put uh, just a basic t-shirt on him and to do that I'm going to go into the uh, front view. Now I'm going to um, just hold down, well press M and then I'm going to use the polygon pen tool, so M and E, and then I'm going to draw what is going to be uh, the roughest t-shirt shape um, that I can put together, just to show you, you know, exactly how this works. Um, and I can just quickly push this across, so you, you're going to want to be far more accurate with this than I am, but I'm just going to give you the basic premise for this. Okay, there we go. And that has given me a, a polygon tool. So I'm just going to bring that forward. Oh, no. Okay, so there we go. We now have that, the t shirt there. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of work to this. <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a, a giant thing. So the easiest thing to uh, just work on this for a second is I just want to subdivide it. Um, now I believe if I select that and uh, go to my polygon mode, select it and then right click and subdivide, it's going to produce something, yeah, pretty nasty. So what I want to do, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time just line cutting it. So just to kind of bring in some quads, um, it's much better to be um, producing that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to come in there and then go down and the same there. So picking up the point and clicking that. Now it does leave me with um, uh, an end gone there. So if I come down, there we go. Still got an end gone, but what I can do now with all of these selected, I can right click and this is where I can subdivide and it will add some nice stuff in for me. Uh, maybe I could get rid of that so that it's all quads. Um, but it, it gives me a nice, you know, we've, we've got no nasty end gons anywhere. I am just going to get rid of that uh, single line there, so, which is easily done by right click and dissolve. There we go. I don't know why it thinks it's. Um... Oh, have I got two points there? I think I've got several points over there, but I can merge all of those together. Whoop. Right click and weld together. There we go. Now I can be able to get rid of that edge. Right click and dissolve. There we go. So now what I need, um, I, I need it slightly closer than that. So I will create one that's just in front and I will create a copy that I shall put just behind and then I will select the two of them, right click and connect and delete and now you can see that I've got the two which will form the front and the back. So just going to my edge mode and then using um, bridge which is M and B I'm just going to attach the two sides um, oops, missed attach the sides where there would be you know a seam and work my way around I'm just going to speed this up for you guys so you don't have to watch me do this okay there we go you can see that we've got some um, normal issues so normals are which way the polygons are facing, the orange ones are facing me as they should, the blue ones are facing the wrong way. But I can change all that, right click and align normals and that will go with the majority. There we go and we have all of that put together now. So now with, uh, there we go, and we're done. His uh, t-shirt is finished, absolutely. Uh, <coughs> maybe not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to my side view and I'm going to use my selection tool, make sure and, you know, visible units is off, and I'm just going to select all of those, which is going to be the seam. 
Then with polygon selected, I'm going to go to tag and uh, simulation tags, and I'm going to go to a cloth. And then on my male hyper um, subdivision surface, I'm going to go to tags, simulation, and I'm going to go cloth collider because we're going to want the t shirt to collide with the body and fit around it. Otherwise, it will just go through and it's not going to work. So with my tag selected, and we know that I've got my polygon selected there, go to my tag, go to dresser, turn on dresser mode. And what we need to do is we need to select the seam polys. So these are the ones that it understands that are um, at the moment far too stretched. And you select those and you see we've got these little yellow hatches that basically say, OK, I am the seam. And we've got a width that that seam is going to be. And then it's a simple case of pressing the dressomatic button. OK, and it's going to, over 20 steps, figure out how to soften itself and merge itself around the body. So I'm just going to click that. So there we go. That didn't do too bad a job at fitting that round. Um, obviously, the more polygons you have, the um, smoother that that transition will be. But you can see that it's roughly tried to keep those a certain centimetre ridge apart. And you can change that by changing that number. So if I was to click now, say, 2.5, and do the dressomatic again, it reverts to its original state and then does the calculation again. But this time you can see that those seams are much smaller and we do get a bit of a better fit. Um, again, what might be a good idea, um, I don't think I can subdivide. I can subdivide, okay, whilst there's a polygonal tool, uh, a tag on it. But let's see what happens if I do dressomatic again, if it does anything any smoother. OK, so it took its initial shape and it's tried to sort that out, but it's not done a particularly good job. So if I was to undo, I think if you do want to add in more geometry, delete the tag, right click and then subdivide so that we've got some more stuff in and then re-add your tag. OK, um, you'd need to set your polygon. Oh, actually, I need to go undo again, don't I? There we go. Um, select all of them, subdivide. See, it's so easy to make a mistake. And then what I will do is I will reselect those, which I now have two lots of. And then set them and use the dressomatic again. And we'll see what that looks like for us. OK, it's a bit better. Um, we haven't got any of those issues around the back. Some of the sides are a little bit strange, but they're not too bad. OK, and we can add a little bit of thickness again, as we've done before using the dresser. Um, sorry, the cloth tag. Simply go up to simulate, go to cloth. I'm holding down alt with my polygon selected. and I should put it in a cloth surface, which means that you can choose a thickness. So, oh, wow, that's a bit big. Um, so you can give that a little bit of, of depth. Maybe just 0 0.1. Oh, whoops, 0 0.1. There we go. And then you can put the cloth into a subdivision surface, which would smooth stuff out even further. OK, uh, you can see that the polygon is the polygons are quite far away from the T-shirt. It's not, you know, it's OK. But what causes that? is under expert mode you've got point collision and you've got a certain distance that that will not go near and if you lower these to something like say 0 0.5 oops always do that 0 0.5 0 0.5 let's go back to that 0 0.5 there we go and now if i was to redo the dressomatic It's now a bit more skin huggy around the um, the neckline and the arms. So it's going to take a little bit of um, experimenting for you guys to you know get the right sort of thing. OK, I hope that was a useful sort of quick start going for the dresser mode, the dressomatic in Cinema 4D. 
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or check out blog.maxon.co.uk.